Um, Carl, trip to, trip to Brisbane. Um, how are the boys feeling ahead of, ahead of the game? Yeah, the, the boys are looking good. Um, you know, it's been a good week on the track. We've had a good solid week. Um, everyone's fit and firing to go. And, you know, we played up there earlier in the season. We're looking to go up there again and um, get a good result. Is it kind of a blessing in disguise, the fact that we've had a couple of new boys come in and there wasn't a game on Wednesday, a bit more time in the training park, we have to get acclimatised to the team and also get find their feet a bit more in the squad? Yeah, most definitely. It gave us a bit of an opportunity to explain our structures and how we play um, to the new players. Also gave them an opportunity to get some um, fitness work into them because they haven't had a lot of work, Lockie and Hiroshi, so um, it was, it's been a good week on the track. How are finding it, do you think, overall? Obviously, Lockie was here previously. Um, Hiroshi is new, um, language barrier, kind of. His Spanish is obviously very good and we've got quite a few boys that speak Spanish, but. How do you think they're, they're... Yeah, they've, they've set it in very well. Um, as I said, we, we're fortunate to have that extra training session this week. So, um, and Hiroshi's English is, is very good. We can have good un understanding with him. He understands um, what we're saying. Um, so, um, yeah, we're looking forward to him to carry on scoring goals for the club. There's a bit of a cameo appearance that he made um, last week, but what did you make of that, that the little, the little appearance? Yeah, he looked good. He was sharp. Um, he provided a good um, focus for us. And, you know, again, that's what we're, we were sort of lacking, that, that presence in and around the box. So we're looking to give him a little bit more game time in Brisbane. Um, we have to be mindful that he hadn't played for, you know, seven weeks before he'd come here. So we'll give him, we'll slowly introduce him a little bit more game time each week. And Lockie Brook as well, how was his camera, do you think? Yeah, Lockie the same, you know, it was a long flight for him. Um, He'd been training and playing right up until then, so he was a little bit jet lagged last week. So this week he's sort of settled in a little bit more and he's look, looked a lot sharper on the training track this week. Um, and obviously, Carl, last week we had a few boys that missed because they were completely recovered from, from COVID, that being Yaya, um, Yako, and Mohammed. How are they looking um, and has the injury been? Yeah, all three boys uh, full, did full training this week and they got the full clearance from the, from the dock, so they're all up for selection. So um, some of them will take place part in the game this weekend. Um, and then the three long-term injuries, Nick, James and, and Cassini, they're travelling along quite well. Um, whether I, We know Nick won't play at all this season and, and Cassini will be touch and go and the same as James, we'll just have to monitor, see how they, they progress with their, with their long-term injuries. Um, and in terms of, of Craig Goodwin, who's been called up to the Socceroos, um, you know, from a, a coaching standpoint, and how proud of you of him? Yeah, look, uh, Craig started the season quite slow and, and the last uh, three or four weeks he's been excellent, back to his best and, you know, deserves his selection in the Socceroos. Hopefully he can go there and play and do well um, like he does for us, for the, for the national team um, and get some goals because they, they need to win these two games and, you know, we wish them all the best. How much can um, a call up like that bring to a player when he does return um, to, to, you know, club football? Yeah, look, it, it's always... Um, a great honour to represent your country and you go away and and, and it's a, a great atmosphere in the national teams and when you come back um, you want to take that that excitement that you've got from playing the national team bring it back and and show um, you know the boys what it needs what it, it takes to play at that next level. Um, looking at the, um, the game against Brisbane itself we obviously played them earlier in pre-season and played them earlier in the season as well but it's been quite a while since we have faced them and, and they've obviously not played too many games they've had a midweek game how do you see the match yeah look i suppose they had that four week break because of COVID, and now that we're going to be their fourth game in 11 days so it's going to be you know a tough going for them um, so we have to make sure we make it difficult for them physically um, you know we have to play the game at a high tempo um, put them under pressure so they've had four games now in 11 days, so we have to make sure we um, test them physically. Obviously that goes well for us considering we've had a bit of an extended break. Do you expect the boys to give the main message to really press them high? And yeah, most definitely. And that, that's the way that we play. We play a high pressing game and want to take the game to the opposition. And there's no, it'd be no different up in Brisbane. We know the weather at times can be a little bit difficult up there. But, um, you know, we're going up there. We had a good result earlier in the season. Um, we're going there with full of confidence and we need to pick the three points up. And just lastly, welcome Ross back as well from, from his COVID bout. How's he feeling? And how good to have him back? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, very good. Um, you know, we work very well together and it, it's good to have that, my offsider next to me to, to help me with the, getting the three points up in Brisbane.